Muy bien. Right now, we're in the CEFA 2019 session with a couple of colleagues who will elaborate on what Mass Bosques as an organization does and how they are impacting the carbon footprint in CFA 2019. Kevin, thank you very much for your invitation. As a corporation, it is very important that uh, this platform gets to know us and what you're managing. So thank you very much for your invitation. And thank you very much for your support. An important aspect of our ambition as a forum is that wherever we organize an event is to leave a positive footprint behind. Juan Camilo, thank you, Kevin, very much. Again, me too. We are very grateful for being able to participate in this event, for everyone listening in Colombia and globally, a kind regard. So we will briefly share with you what the Corporation for Sustainable uh, forest is all about it's an ngo and the purpose is a sustainable uh, maintenance of natural resources is sustainability for uh, strategic ecosystems in colombia with a strong main and prioritary component which is to include rural communities in the conservation strategy this is our reason for being in terms of conservation management it's that activities and actions be developed with the participation and economical, social, and environmental benefit of rural communities. Our lines of work Okay, the presentation can be seen now. Okay, so within the Mas Bosques More Forest Corporation, we have main objectives. One is the uh, marketing of uh, honey, which honey which provides from the natural forests. We maintain in association with rural communities and private uh, companies. Another product we've been developing and promoting in the past months is a product no, known as Paisajera, which promotes ecotourism nature tourism in these strategic ecosystems we are conserving. This is the main objective. And our main product is the Banco Dos, Bank 2 product, which is a payment for uh, environmental services service, which along with uh, private companies, we need to make voluntary and voluntary um, payments such as compensation, such as the carbon footprint, who want to join the Banco Dos Colombia uh, e strategy to impact footprint in rural communities. This is our main strategy. If, uh, if you see, Banco Dos is divided in three actions. One called Banco Dos Plus, which has to do with certified uh, carbon footprint known as the carbon bonds we know globally which are a commodity and they are exchanged in the global market. Another strategy is called Banco Dos Agua, which is water, which is focused in the conservation of water resources, the quality and the quantity of it, and focused on certain prioritary and strategic ecosystems from the perspective of conversation of water resources, mainly the high levels, the higher levels of Water basin. of water uh, fountains, of water sources. And then Banco Bios, which focuses in the conservation of biodiversity in a general uh, perspective. We have all types of ecosystems in our country. In Colombia, we're currently at 26 environmental authorities. There are around uh, 35 uh, environmental authorities distributed throughout our territory. We are working with 26 of those. So we're practically in the entire city. In Colombia, in Antioquia, for example, we're working directly with Banco Dos, with metropolitan area, Urabá, Antioquia, and Cornal, where we have approximately directly, because of its size, directly with the uh, 
governance of Antioquia, with the governance uh, entity of Antioquia. We have around 10,000 hectares for conservation, which is quite a, quite a bit. All this in the Department of Antioquia. In our country, we're working with 11,300 families, which are guardians of the strategic ecosystems. And it oscillates around 130,000 hectares we're participating with. And there's an important private sector, private companies participating in this, some of them with, um, with, uh, with demanded compensation and some with voluntary compensation with on a strategy that is social and environmental for support of these rural communities. And to wrap up, we would like to invite all of you Please, the last slide. We would like to invite you where as you listen, you can go to the link you find in the screen, www.masbosques.org. This is the CEFA 2019 footprint and you will find a very simple form which we have developed from the Mas Bosques Corporation, from the Banco Los uh, strategy. And it's a form we use to uh, measure the uh, carbon footprint of CO2 in each event. And this event has a particularity we want to highlight, which is mainly virtual. What does that mean? It means that what we will measure here is the, is the avoided footprint because it is virtual. It would be different if we were all gathered here in Medellin, we would be calculating the, the issued footprint, the emitted footprint. But we want to make an effort to this uh, and contribution to this effort, which would allow me to contribute and measure with the prior year's footprint to know how much we are contributing to the sustainability exercise by having an avoided footprint. So I invite you to quickly go into the link and I will quickly explain this to you. I, I hope you have all gone in. It's very simple and we request for your support. In the first part of the form, you will find your personal information, your name, the organization you represent. And it will also be very important for us as well to have a better control on the accompaniment uh, you're doing at a global level. So thank you for that support. We invite you to, uh, to fill in the uh, app form. It basically has two profiles. One profile for people who are participating virtually and one profile for people who are participating uh, in person, physically. All you need to do is click the link where you find the virtual uh, form for those who are uh, overseas and you'll find basic questions. Basically the origin to calculate the footprint in case you moved to the city of Medellin. That's all you need to do. Click the link in the virtual uh, site tell us where you're accompanying us from. We will do the calculation and through the organizers of the event, you will have the information on what the, in the CEFA 2019 report, you will have what the footprint was. Thank you very much. And last, some last words before closing. On the part of the Los Vosquez Corporation, we have always been committed with the conservation of all ecosystems and we have diligently worked hand in hand with the Entorno Regional Corporation in Cornare, where several projects of circular economy have been implemented, where plastic tutors have been come out, worked with plastic bags. The last one we've worked with, or that has been worked on, is the organic compost or the organic material gathered in the different towns around Cocorna are taken to specific points, specific sites. It's there being composted and we're working the economy 
circular economy there to send them that compost at a very favorable price and it's an improved uh, improved compost so we have tried to put that as much as we can on the market on the part of a circular economy and uh, hand in hand with Kevin, we've already had conversations not only with the director of Mas Bosques, Jaime Andres Garcia, but also the Cornell director, Mr. Zuluaga, with the purpose of pursuing, pressing on with everything that has to do with circular economy because it's very relevant and significant for people to have a greater conscience on everything we're developing. Thank you, Wildeman. Juan Camilo, last words just to uh, be grateful to appreciate uh, to show our appreciation and to reiterate reiterate our uh, project which is to multiply ecosystems and support communities so we invite you to join us in that task thank you very much representatives of mass Bosques here in medellin colombia we'll be right back <laughs>